country as it struggles to cope with coronavirus. Uh, coronavirus. It is a pandemic at this point. Let's talk about what that means. Declared it was not too late for countries to act, saying that they were... So that's been the most currently discussed topic from TV to social media. The virus has been spreading from person to person and continues to spread globally. Which brings an interesting idea or question. Can virtual reality and augmented reality help slow the spread of the coronavirus? In a couple weeks, I was going to actually go to a virtual reality health conference where we're going to have discussions of how to utilize virtual reality in a healthcare setting. However, it was canceled due to the concerns of the coronavirus spreading because many of the keynote speakers were coming from different parts of the country. Then I started to notice many of the other conferences was canceled, as well as the F8 Facebook conference. I was going to make some content for you guys from these conferences, but it was unfortunately it got canceled due to the outbreak. I thought it was kind of ironic that I was physically going to the virtual reality conference but I thought this actually presents an interesting idea of using virtual reality or augmented reality to hold conferences instead of being there physically. We need to find a solution to be able to have large groups of people interact and learn without physically being there, especially there's realities like this. A growing number of schools across the tri-state area continue to either cancel classes or move to remote learning. All of it to ensure everyone's safety during the Because it's a big health hazard for everyone, then why not bring everyone virtually together with the best social platform we have now, which is virtual reality. If you experience any application in VR, you're gonna quickly realize talking to people in VR is the next big thing, where large groups can be in the same space to listen to others speak or network or just even hang out. In the future, I believe it's gonna happen especially if a serious issues like this keeps happening and keeping us all apart. We have a solution now for these very big issues. Take for example Microsoft HoloLens that is capable of handling augmented reality. For those not familiar with augmented reality technology or AR, what that is is basically an experience where a computer generated image is overlaid onto the real world in front of the user's view. There is technology that has been developed by Spatial or Vephoria that is working with the HoloLens. Just imagine a presentation given like this in a conference. Viewers are able to see floating digital assets that's being presented as long as they have a headset on. But not only that, check this out. The presenter can also interact with these assets. While watching this, you can just feel the connection between the person and the technology. Here's an example of a virtual person standing on stage while giving a presentation. He can walk around the stage, bring up digital assets, play videos, and again interact with the digital asset while presenting. The audience or person can be on the other side of the world attending a virtual conference but feel as if they're in the same space. By using the Microsoft HoloLens and spatial technology, the viewers or the audience can now reduce the need to travel or be exposed to situations like we are facing now with the coronavirus or any other viruses. Movie theaters is another event that large groups of people can gather. There's a very interesting application called Big Screen VR. So what big screen is, is an application where people can gather virtually and watch anything from movies, playing games, to watching TV together in a virtual environment. A person or avatar of your choosing can either sit in a virtual theater themselves and watch a movie, or you can view a movie with a group of strangers or friends without leaving the comfort of your home. Big Screen has also partnered up with Paramount Pictures to host movie screenings in 2D and 3D. This may be the future of how we watch films. Plus you can talk to your friends right next to you while watching a movie or even hang out in a virtual lounge and connect your PC desktop to a virtual screen to display any content from your computer. Companies can even use this VR application as a tool for remote teams to collaborate together in a virtual office or maybe schools can have students collaborate in a virtual classroom environment. Concerts and sporting events can also be another large social gathering event. There's an application called NextVR that delivers live sports and music events in VR to fans around the world. They are working in collaboration with huge clients like NBA, NASCAR, WrestleMania, 
fans even get behind the scenes look and experiences as if they were standing in the same place. It's just really amazing how immersive it can feel. Again, this is just another opportunity for the audience to view large events like these without leaving the home. You can also view these with your friends or family like they're right next to you as long as they own a VR headset. And by the way, Coachella, a large music festival in Los Angeles, just got postponed until October because of the coronavirus. It could be an opportunity for Coachella to turn to VR if it gets postponed even further into the year. In my channel, I recently added a Kobe Bryant memorial in VR. The memorial was filled with people around the world, but with technology of VR, people can avoid situations of actually being exposed to a large crowd and still feel as if they were physically there. As you can see in the experience, there was actually an added layer by including Kobe's voice and various scenes that adds to the experience while virtually being teleported there. Also, if you notice, there's people being quarantined around the world because of the coronavirus. Quarantined people may lead to a feeling of isolation. With VR headsets, it can resolve this very issue. They can virtually visit anywhere in the world. They can mentally teleport themselves out of the current environment into an environment like this. I have experiences on my channel from a fantasy experiences to a real world like this that can assist in working through stress and anxiety while being treated with the coronavirus. By making the environments so close to reality, it can achieve its goal to have greater immersion in VR. So there is technology out there now to have large groups interact entertain or learn from one another without physically being there. However, there's one issue that can slow down this VR movement, and it's the lack of headsets that's available for companies or schools. Currently, there's a huge demand for these VR headsets. If you look at major retail stores like Best Buy or online stores like Amazon, headsets like the Oculus Quest are sold out. The demand is high ever since it was released on May of 2019. Production had been slowed due to China's factories being shut down or running at a lower capacity because of the coronavirus, which results in shortages of VR headsets. This very shortage can prevent it from being the solution that many may need at this present and future time. And I know there's gonna be pushback on using VR or AR headsets, and many will say it's not the same experience as it would be in person. And I would say, no, it's not the same. But the experience could even be better and safer. Till next time, guys. Talk to y'all later.